Okay, this Euro CAD is pretty interesting because um, there's been it's the Euro CAD weekly look there's been an extremely strong I mean this was the trade of the year um, starting December the 7th 09 I mean this no just a magnificent move here in the Euro CAD and all the money there is being made on the short side now when you have a strong trend like that when the money is being made clearly in one direction what are you scared of these shorts are getting shorter they're getting shorter the volumes building they're scared of giving that back our jobs to identify the points where they take where they get out of their positions and reposition themselves to the long side that is this area here these points and this is starting to look like a change of market condition now the euro as we discussed at the start of this the euro has been coming for some buying and the CAD is seriously lagging the Aussie now if we go to the daily we can see a bit clearer to our levels our structural long is 136.78 okay our structure you see we're above this structural long okay 136.78 see these these lows didn't give any follow through these momentum lows this point here was a failure trade basically so we have a failure we have these the two highs here okay this area here provided a lid to the pullback from this major trend we made a low pull back failure to recover these highs and we made another low we should have seen a much stronger push down from this level here from this low that is 131.52 from this 131.52 you see we had one day that we closed below that okay we then turn around lovely failure trade back up to the highs and through last week we go through them now we're presented with an interesting setup in that the three these three highs these three daily highs are pretty much the same level so our structure we're all, that we're already above which is the 136.78 we're already above this and we're going to take the the daily highs here which are 138.62 okay 138.62 represents these three highs so if we're not long so we're above a structure and if we take out the 138.62 we have another we have another nice entry point at the the parallel three day highs which is a, just a very nice entry there and we could just see some powerful moves when the when the shorts start to exit 
the the short covering scenario from the big the big trending condition prior to this prior to this move. So your long point is 138.62. We're above the structural long, so we can argue that 138.62 is a structural long and a short-term long. Yeah. It's definitely a it's definitely a buy point there. Our structural short is going to be the 136.78 as well because if we fail this will be like th these two highs here Okay, our expectations are for a, a strong move up from here. If we fail here, if we fail to take out these highs and we come to trade back below the 136.78, we'll be presented with a failure trade akin to this level here. Okay. So if our expectations of the short covering, a short covering rally is strong. So our expectations of taking out these highs and a reversal of the major trend down, we should, our expectations, not predictions, our expectations of the price action should be strong and we should push up through the 140. If that doesn't happen, our mean, our reverting price action back through the 136.78 Okay, is the short. So let me recap that that the 138.62 is our long point and our structural long. Okay, our structural short then is 136.78, and our short, our nearer term short is the 137. 45, the daily low. Let's go to look at the 200 tick on that. Okay, so this 200 tick makes it that bit clearer. We look at the daily chart. We we see we see what on the daily candle is that we've got this we've got this sideways pattern. And this just gives us a really nice setup for continuation above the structure. Okay, a continuation above the above the structure of the highs by taking out the daily highs at 138.62, or we get the reversal back towards the structure if we take out the this pattern defined very clearly by the highs and the lows here. So this is a really nice clear picture to trade. So our long point is 138.62, our short point is 137.45, okay, the one day low. And our stops are going to be the boundaries of these two of this condition. Okay? So if we're long our stop is 137.45 and if we're short our stop Yes, it's wide, but as you can see, it has to be. If you don't, if you want to take these shorts or the long out of this out of this phase here, you can, and and you don't have the the appetite for. You don't have the appetite for having the wide stops. You can take the short from the one day low and have your stop the other side. Okay, sort of 10 pips or so the other side of the, the one day low, 10 or 20 pips, and vice versa on the upside. You can take the long and have your stop the other side of the this pattern defined by the highs and lows. Okay, so if you if you can't afford to, or if you don't want to have the wide stops the on the boundaries of this defined range you can have them 
you can trade the the highs and lows with your stocks the other side. Yeah, I I, I agree, Barry. It, it is a nice area. It's very clear, and that's what we like. We like things that are clear because the clearer they are, the more the the market is respecting the the levels. You know, clears clears good. So this Euro CAD is a very nice. It's a very nice, very nice picture. Richard, the structural longs and structural shorts are points in the market in the wider picture that the market has, the price action has respected, um, like these two zones here. This is a daily chart. You've got one, two, three, four, five daily daily highs where the market has has failed to continue to the upside and turned round. Okay, the structural points are points that the market and the price action has respected over over time and sometimes these these structural points go way back sort of 15 20 years. The reason we're pointing them out is that they're the points where we go long. So in this in this in this scenario here if you've been, you know, if you if you have the um, no, they're not support. They're not support and resistance. They're they're structural points. It's not support and resistance. These are points that, that, that it's more than that. They're points where the shorts are getting out, and they're this is a short covering point. If this was, if you're if you're selling these, if you're selling, if this is if this is resistance, and the market comes here and you're selling it, you lose money. Okay. Anyway, I, it, it's you know it's, it's it's what we teach you. They're trend changing points, Sergey. That's correct. Anyway, I've got to get on with this. Um, I'll come back to if you've got any questions afterwards. I'll I'll address them. Okay. Let me just. Let me, I need to stop the recording. One second.